So here's from Ruth's seminal paper, just showing cystic change transabdominally, and we see it a lot better transvaginally, kind of a duh statement. When you measure, don't include this hypoechoic myometrium. People call it the junctional zone, it's really not. But just measure the hyperechoic, the bright white area. That's what we're measuring in postmenopausal patients. And as we said before, don't include the fluid in between, add both walls together. And make sure you see the entire endometrium. You know, when we were in training, we scanned everybody ourselves, but now the sonographers who are better scanners than us for the most part are scanning, but we don't get a chance to look. So somebody could give you a measurement like this, that looks great, 1.7 millimeters, but you move over to the side and then all of a sudden there's a cancer over there. Yeah, so here's the cancer on the side there. So make sure you see everything. Just because you put cursors on it doesn't mean it's an acceptable exam. Here's again from Ruth's paper. You, you haven't seen things well on an image like this. And look at this patient. There's a million fibroids. You know, our wonderful sonographer put cursors on something. But there was a stage 2B endometrial cancer hiding somewhere in this uterus behind the fibroids. So again, there's no shame roughly 10% of the time saying, I don't see things well. And don't accept indistinct margins. Fortunately, the vast majority of the time when you have indistinct margins, it's technical, it's adenomyosis, it's something benign. But endometrial cancer is infiltrating, and these little fingers of tumor can go out. Hopefully, I would call this most of the time. But see how sharp it is down here, then it gets indistinct. This was a grade 2 adenocarcinoma.